back to school makeup right now. However, um, one of the featured product for today's makeup tutorial is the new product from Ever Belena, which is their Ultimate Eye Shadow Palette. So I will be doing an unboxing and also first impression review of this product all throughout the video. So simulan natin sa pag bukas ng palette na ito. So, simple lang yung gagawin natin back to school makeup kasi nga, knowing na back to school, syempre, estudyante lang naman, pang estudyante makeup yung gagawin natin. So, eto yung bago ng Everbelena Ultimate Eyeshadow. It says here, it's 12 grams and it also contains 12 eyeshadow pans. It says that the main ingredient is talc, mica, collin, silica, magnesium, stearate, so on and so forth. So, if you have allergies on talc and mica, then you might want to stay away from this product. It says here it's 12 months upon opening, cruelty free, paraben free, and made in China. Ang kanyang, um, what do you call that? Formulation. So, tignan natin. Pag binuksan mo, wala kang may kitang mirror, and wala rin siyang free na brush. So, medyo madumi ng konti. Ayan yung itsura niya kasi na swatch ko na po siya. So, before we proceed, I'll show you the swatches. swatches niya. Magaganda siya. For me, kasi this is a very good everyday palette and it's all matte. And matte is the best friend of hooded eyes. So, for basic, for beginners, and also for intermediate, even for pros, matte is our best friend. You can never go wrong with matte. In shimmer, you can always play with it but it's not always ending up so nicely, especially in daytime or kapag maraming ilaw sa paligid. So, simulan na natin muna ang ating, um, Back to school makeup tutorial, ilalagay mo natin to sa side. But um, let's start with the base. So make sure that you already have a moisturized, well prepped skin. So most of the time, teenagers, yung mga high schoolers. So ibig sabihin, marami tayong madalas na problema like acne, um, oiling on the skin, blackheads, blemishes, and so on and so forth. So it's very important that you establish your own personalized skincare. Huwag tayo masyadong umasa sa sabi ni ganito, maganda daw. Sabi ni ganito, maganda daw. You have to make sure that you always test, do a, a, a skin test before um, you apply something on your face. Mukha yan. Mahirap makipagpalit ng mukha sa ibang tao. Kaya dapat maingat tayo sa mukha. I've learned my lesson the hard way. So, sana kayo din magingat mabuti. So, I already did my skincare. I have a separate skincare video. You might want to check that out. Ilalagay ko na lang sa description box below. But for today, since we are trying to be budget-friendly or student-friendly, ang gagamitin nating foundation ay galing sa um, HPC, which is their Crayons BB Cream. So, I've already made a review of this video. Um, nandun din siya sa description box below. My portion of this is 2 is to 1. Kasi, um... I'm neither fair lady or natural beauty. Kahit imix mo siya, hindi pa rin sakto. So, 2 is to 1. 2 drops nito is equals to 1 drop. But that's not enough for my face. So, technically, 4 nito, 2 nito. So, let's apply this on my face. So, kung meron na kayong... Wait lang ah. 1, 2, 3, 4. Kung meron na kayong foundation, that's good kasi... Um, hindi na siya maadadagdag pa sa budget nyo. No? Pero kung wala pa, I suggest bill na lang kayo ng mga BB Beauty Balm or BB Cream kasi meron din siyang skincare benefit at the same time, hindi siya sing heavy ng mga foundation ngayon. Plus, I don't recommend na estudyante ka pa lang, nag-foundation nag ka na or naglalagay ka na ng um, foundation on your skin kasi hindi naman siya Una sa lahat, puti yung uniform natin, mas malaki yung tendency na mag-transfer siya. Or kung madrap mo man yung foundation, naku, kawawa naman ang nanay mo maglalaban ng uniform mo, di ba? Um, other than that, um, pawisin kasi tayo eh. There are so many activities at school. Ah, maliban na lang kung anak mayaman ka friend, private ang school mo at ikaw ay naki-air condition. Anyway, so ito na yung foundation ko. Minimix ko lang siya at lalagay ko na siya sa aking face. Whenever you're applying foundation, Try to apply it on the center of your face first 
and apply it outwards para hindi masyadong makapal on some areas or hindi overall on your face ay makapal. So, dito lang muna. Nose. And then, yung mga may imperfections usually dito sides of the nose. And then, use either a brush or a sponge or your fingertips. Walang problema. Ayan. So, madalas kasi yung mga um, high school, marami na yung acne or pimples or may mga blemishes na yan. That's one good thing about using this HBC um, product kasi affordable siya, 89 pesos lang. Tapos, kahit dalawang shape pa yung kunin mo, um, nasa 180 pesos lang siya. It's still the cheapest um, product that I know sa market na magbibigay sa'yo ng for 180 pesos, 50 ml na siya ng product. And you can always customize. Pwede mo pang gamitin kung advanced learner, advanced makeup na yung alam mo. Pwede ka mo pang gamitin yung lighter. Now, let's proceed with sponge. Lighter shade as a concealer, darker shade as a contour, cream contour. So, pero kung ikaw ay nasa mas, yung skin, skin color mo ay maswerte ka at sakto sa'yo ang natural beauty or ang fair lady, then swerte mo, diba? Ayan. I would suggest kung wala kang blemishes, pero gusto mo lang ng additional coverage or gusto mo lang itry to, huwag ka na magbrush kasi kakapal lang siya. If, hindi ka, if baguhan ka pa sa makeup, hindi ka marunong gumamit ng brush, it will end up being streaky and very, very obvious na meron kang makeup. Ayan. Ngayon, kung oily ka, the problem with this is it's very dewy, very fresh and flawless looking. So, kung oily ka, pwede ka mag-bake. So, paano ba mag-bake? So, basically, ang baking ay yung paglalagay mo ng powder sa areas kung saan mas madalas ka mag-oil and letting it sit there for about 5 minutes or more para um, yung pores mo ma-absorb niya yung um, merong Meron siyang process kasi, it's hard to explain, no? Google mo na lang, friend, na kung saan, mahi-help niya yung pag, pag, pa-perspire, or pag produce ng oil, dun sa area na binik mo. Ayan, so fully covered na yung ating face. Let's proceed with setting of powder. So, I would highly recommend na gumamit kayo ng loose powder kasi... Loose powder um, components or the texture of it is best for baking or setting the powder. Kasi yung mga compact powder like this, although this is dual um, dual function foundation, pwede siya ng wet or dry, um, thick masyado yung consistency nito. Pag pinangset mo siya dito, mas, mas magmumukhang makapal yung makeup mo, mas hindi siya magmumukhang natural. So, um, the best way pa rin is to set with loose powder. And huwag ka nang gumastos kasi... Ang Johnson's powder ay okay na para sa iyong um, baking. So, let's get a loose powder. Alright, so I have here Johnson's powder. Diba? Walang gastos. Ito na sa ating bahay. Meron na tayong powder na pwedeng gamitin. So, kailangan malinis mo na yung pinagbakan mo as in walang mumuo-muo yung paglalagyan mo. So, I get to be oily mostly on my nose and under eyes. Pero, huwag masyadong marami sa under eyes. Konti lang. Very light. Ganyan lang. Yan. And then, dito. And then, sa nose. Forehead, madalas. And wag na masyado dun sa mga areas na hindi naman kasi hindi rin masyadong maganda yung super matte na dating ng makeup. And gagamit naman tayo ng flawless powder later. 
to finish the rest of the makeup. So, okay na yan. Alright, so, let's move on sa kilay. Let me just grab my mirror. Kilay na tayo. Ang puti ko yata. So, my favorite and most affordable product for kilay is this from Etude House Drawing, um, Drawing Eyebrow. And I'm shade number 3 yata. 3 yata ako. No? So, first, you have to brush your eyebrows. So, while nagbe-bake pa yan, brows, I i-brush. And then, draw your eyebrows. Uh, meron na akong tutorial nito, pero always start from the nostrils that meets um, the inner tear duct. That's where it should start. And tama naman ang aking eyebrows. Ang arch is nostril and gilid ng pupil or iris ba o pupil. Yun na nga yun. So, dito dapat ang arch. This is the highest part of the arch. And dapat nostril and sa gilid ng mata. This is where it should end. So, let's draw. The more you get used to it, the more easier it, it is to draw your eyebrows. And huwag masyadong plakado kasi... Um, sa school, hindi naman kailangan yung... Mas maganda yung natural looking eyebrows, di ba? And always start drawing only on the outer thirds of your eyebrows. Ayan. And then, just use the brush. Yung excess product, mapipick up nung um, spoolie. And then, use it sa inner parts. So, magmukhang gradient and mas magmukhang natural. Ayan. Retouch mo lang if you're not yet happy with it. Pag dugsong-dugsongin mo lang yung, yung arch, yung tail, connect the dots lang. And there you go. That's our natural looking eyebrows. Let's just do it on the other side. Hindi na ako mag-guide kasi kabisado ko naman na. Draw the tail. Start with the outer thirds. And then fill in. Then brush. Ayan. Pantayin lang natin siya. Titingin ka lagi sa salamin ng medyo malayo-layo para malaman mo pantay ba siya or hindi. So, fill in mo lang yung mga gaps in between. Ayan, tapos na tayo sa kilay. And then, let's proceed with our eyeshadow. So, I'm choosing this two, either this or this one, as an overall lid color. So, kung naglagay kayo ng, kung naglagay kayo ng concealer, pwede rin siyang ipang set. So, for both eyes. And then now, after this fluffy one, let's go to the, 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 the transition shade. For transition shade, I think I'll be using mixture of this two. Ito, very light brown and this one. I'll try this first and apply this one kasi parang feeling ko very light to. Baka hindi masyadong kita. So, I'll mix both of them. So, since this is just back to school, you just want to make sure na may color yung eyes mo, pero hindi yung agaw eksena. So, kapag kagaya ko na hooded eye, just look straight. And then, kung nasan yung, yung topi, 
tupi, <laughs> tupi ng eyelids mo dapat hang doon yung pinaka transition color mo like that. Huwag susobra kasi um, usually sinasobrahan ko siya kapag mga cut crease or glam look yung talagang kailangan kitang kita yung eyeshadow. But since it's just school makeup, the more natural the better. Diyan lang sa, sa sakit ng eyes mo. Kung nasan yung kuha ka mo yung milog, kung saan siya yung pinaka edge niya no round, hanggang doon lang dapat. So far, this is a synthetic brush and hindi naman um, ganun kadami yung fo, um, fallout. Although, syempre, napaprick niya yung mga ano, areas. Nagpa-powder siya. Pero, ano naman siya? Tolerable naman. So, start from the outer V first. Kapag na-deposit mo na yung majority of the colors on your brush, then sweep it slow, uh, gently going inwards. Ganun din on the other side. Deposit majority of the color on the outer crease and then sweep inside so that hindi ganun ka harsh yung color. And then I'm going back with the same brush na pinangset natin kanina. And then, kuha lang tayo ng nito, yung lighter shade, and this one in the middle to clean the edges. Yan, parang sa ilalim ng, sa may brow bone. Yung medyo yellowish sa gitna. And yung medyo light peach dito sa baba. Just to blend the edges towards the brow bone. Para mas malinis siya tignan. Don't forget to tap the excess before you apply. Kasi magiging patchy siya kapag masyadong maraming product. Tapos hindi maganda yung application. Ayan. One thing I actually don't like about this palette, I love everything about it. The packaging, the colors, the fact that it's all matte. Um, para sa akin, parang masyado magkakahawig yung kulay like this too. Although, pag sa swatches mo tinignan, hindi ganun kalapit. Pero you can definitely add on something to intensify it. And ito din, itong dalawa, mag, itong tatlo actually, magkamukha sila. I would um, highly appreciate kung black na, lagay na lang sila ng isang black to easily smoke out, um eye color. So, anyways, tapos na tayo basically. Doon tayo sa pinaka um, ilalim. So, yung iba, naglalagay na sila ng eyeliner at kahit uh, masyado pa silang bata. But for me, nakaka, nakakatanda kasi yung eyeliner kapag nila, sorry, I'm just looking for a certain brush. Nakakatanda tignan kapag naglalagay ka ng eyeliner. So, what I suggest is get a darkest, the darkest brown shade on this palette, like this one. And use an eyeliner brush or eyebrow brush. And use it to outline the lash line, like this. It's like, <coughs> excuse me. It's like applying eyeliner on the lash line, but using a darker shade of eyeshadow. To define your eyes, but not boldly, um, na magbumukha kang matured. Ganyan. And then, blend it out. Ayan, mukha na siyang, ayan yung, nakita nyo ba yung difference? Ito yung meron, ito yung wala. Darken pa natin siya ng konti. So, this is the smokiest that you can go with a, a school makeup. You're not supposed to do a super smoky kasi it's not appropriate for school makeup. But you still want, if you still want like a, a quite intensified eyeshadow look, do you see the difference? This is the one um, na merong darker shade of brown, purplish brown. Itong dalawang minix ko sa lash line, eto yung wala. So let's apply it also on the other side. Again, dun lang sa ibabaw ng lash line, smudge mo lang siya dun. To intensify it. No need for eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. And no need for mascara also. Um, colored mascara, I mean. 
Um, what I normally use is a um, clear mascara that is dual purpose. So, this is really nice. This color is working well for me naman. Kahit hindi siya black. Okay na rin. It intensifies my um, the eye makeup kahit hindi siya ganun ka-black. Ganun lang talaga. Ayan. Kita nyo ba? Diba? It, it gives you such a difference. Huwag nyo lang siya masyadong i-blend out um, upward masyado kasi ma-affect ma na yung lash, um, yung eye makeup natin. Ayan. And then, hindi talaga pa tayo matako, so wag na kayong magulat. Mas round to. Mas almond to. Now, for the lightest shade, gagawin din natin yung, yung brown na yun. And kuha tayo ng shader brush na wet. And nagkunin natin yung white and yellow. And lagay lang natin siya sa gitna. I know we added color earlier and it might seem like we're erasing it, but we're not. We're just trying to make it um, two-tone. So, try, again, yung white and yung parang yellow. And dito lang sa loob. Towards the gitna. And now... What's, once that's done, going back with this brush, and dun sa medyo dark shade, dot lang natin siya dito. As in, dito lang siya i-concentrate sa kabila ulit. And then, blend it out with this orange color here from the outer to inner. Blend lang natin siyang mabuti. And don't forget to look down when if you are if you have um hooded eyes like me, look down so that it's easier for you to blend. And we're done. We're done with the eye makeup. I'm really really liking this. It's all matte. I think magamit natin lahat um now. It's dual purpose for me. I know our my eyebrows are done, but just to show you, it's multi-purpose because you can also use it as an eyebrow powder. This one is, I think, a very good shade for my eyebrows. So let's see if that's the case. If that's really the case. Yes. Totoo ang chismis. Pwede ko siyang gawing eyebrow powder. So multi-purpose siya. Ayan, yeah, no? Kita nyo ba? Mas naging define yung color nito. Pwede nyo siyang gawing eyebrow powder. Right? That is a good thing, isn't it? Kasi talagang multi-purpose siya. Just don't forget to make sure that your eyebrows are gradient. Now, let's move on to mascara. I basically don't use mascara, but if you're, um, during the time that I was in high school, I don't use mascara, but I normally use a lash curler. I don't have that much of lashes, so let's just curl the lashes. Kailangan nagpapalsate lang yung pagpapress mo. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sa kabila din. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then get a clear mascara. 
coat it with that. Again, natural beauty. Ang peg ng ating back to school. We don't wanna look like we put too much makeup. And we don't wanna look like as if nag-effort tayo ng bongga bongga. Um, yung black mascara tends to clump. And it's pretty obvious pag nagkamali ka, it's difficult to correct. And one good thing about layer mascara is if you have stubborn eyebrows, you can also use it as a brow gel. Yeah, so two in one din siya. Now, moving on to the blush. Remember kanina, um, yung powder dito, sabi ko, doon lang kayo maglagay ng powder. Kung saan, super oily kayo, this is the reason why. Because we will be using the excess powder underneath the eye, under eyes, so chin and the nose, to be swept by a powder brush and all over. So now, pwede ko nang gamitin tong pressed powder so that easily ma-remove natin yung excess powder na nasa face. And this will also serve as a finishing powder. Again, multi-purpose powder siya, pero hindi siya magandang pang set. Kasi nga, masyadong thick and heavy yung consistency niya. So, better pa rin pang bake ang loose powder. And always use a powder brush kapag kiniklean nyo na lang yung mga excess powder on your face. Now, after that, then you can use this also as um, compact powder for retouching. So again, another two-in-one product. Now for blush. Um, for the blush, I don't usually put too much. What I normally do is apply um, chick, lip and chick tint on my lips and on my cheeks. But since nag powder na tayo, I like that very, very subtle blush na merong konting sheen. That's why I love this Sassy Radiant Glow Powder Blush. So, I'll just get a blush brush. Ayan yung kulay niya. O, oh, medyo gamit na gamit na siya. It gives you the natural blush na napaka effortless but gives you also that subtle glow. Actually, it reminds me of Hourglass na um, blush. It's very natural looking. Hindi nyo nga siya siguro halos makikita sa um, camera. Hindi siya masyado mag-register. But are you seeing the sheen na para bang napaka glowing lang ng cheeks ko? And super, super, super subtle lang ng, um, ng, ng blush na ibinibigay niya. Na parang very, very natural blush lang. Ayan. There are different colors of this you can choose. But for my skin tone, this is the best color. Na parang talagang parang wala lang. But I'm blushing from the inside. And then, but you can also apply the lip and cheek tint. Kanina dapat bago tayo nag powder. Optional naman yun kung nandun ka sa um part na, I mean, nasa college level ka na, yes, that's fine. High school, less obvious, the better, di ba? And then now, for the lips, we don't wanna wear heavy lipstick na nag-sustain, na nag kapag kumakain. It's better to use a lip tint, lip and cheek tint, so you can actually put full color or gradient. Especially sa daylight, you don't want to have a very, very, um, what is that? Very striking color of lips, of, sorry, of lipstick or, um, lip tint. So, doon tayo sa medyo gradient effect. And then, going back to the powder brush without any product, um, anymore, just sweep up the excess. Don't forget your neck. And basically, we're done. That is our back-to-school makeup. 
And this is how my back to school makeup looks like. Alright, so let's now go back to our featured palette for today. Um, the Everbelena Ultimate or Ultimate Eyeshadow for me. For the price, I'll just insert the price right here. I forgot. It's 200 something. 75, 225, I think. I think it's 225. Or basta, ilalagay ko na lang dito yung price niya. For 225 pesos, I think it's a very good uh, beginner friendly eyeshadow kasi matte siya. And yung shade niya, lalo na yung mga um, brown na iba, multi-purpose, you can actually use it as a um, what do you call that? Brow powder. Pwede rin pang contour. Depende kung um, nasa anong shade ka. I mean, kung more na shade ka. And this one actually can serve also as a blush. Ayan. Depende kung um, depende rin sa skin tone mo. You can also use the others as blush. Why not try it right now? Uh, eto. Itong nasa baba kung magagamit natin siya as blush. Yes. It is definitely something we can use as a blush. Kasi ganun siya kapigmented. Pwede rin siya gamitin blush. Pwede rin siya na um, eyeshadow powder. Actually, yes, it's nice. You can also use it as a blush. And also, contour. Pero be mindful ha, huwag niyong gamitin yung same color ginamit niyo dito and sa cheeks niyo, tapos sa lips niyo, halos pareho lang. Kasi, um, hindi siya maganda tignan. Ngayon, din dinestin ko lang siya, kaya nagmukha siyang um, parehong kolay, parehong kulay yung ating eyeshadow and yung blush. But never ever use the same color on your eyes and your cheeks um, unless that's a monochrome or mo monochrome theme ng makeup that you're looking for or eyeing for. So I think all right for the price I'm giving it a four out of five because I think um there's there are other colors that are very similar so parang hindi rin siya ganun kadami na options for 225 pesos and then for availability it's five out of five this definitely is available on all Everbelina stores also available in Lazada and Shopee. So, for quality, I'm giving it a 4 out of 5 kasi okay naman siya, maganda naman yung quality niya. But, um, there are also other brands out there that can offer the same um, color shades, almost the same price, but a little better quality than this one. But still, overall, this is a must-have for those who are a um, fan of mattes and neutral shades na may konting berries and mauve also sa color palette. So, that's it for today's video. I hope may natutulong kayo sa ating back to school makeup tutorial and nakatulong din ako sa inyo to decide whether or not you want to try this new product right here from Everbelena. So, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Goodbye!